Welcome to a spreadsheet for solving groundwater flow and pollution problems. This spreadsheet is a two-dimensional finite different uh, model for a semi-confined uh, aquifer groundwater flow with constant transmissivity and constant uh, width dimensions, delta x equals delta y. This is a 2D log center finite difference grid. And please refer to the previous uh, tutorial on confinement condition, and I just give here the main details. Details. Well, first to choose the iterative option of uh, Excel, as explained here. Then the input data, the transmissivity, the grid dimension, delta x, delta y. I use a very simple conceptual model but you can treat any kind of boundaries and uh, any size of uh, model and uh, well that uh, fits in, the, in your uh, uh, Excel in your worksheet and this is no flow boundary, no flow boundary, no flow boundary and constant head boundary so this is our equation for a leaky uh, aquifer and I just have in this cell this is the same equation so I just copy to the entire flow domain and okay then we can continue to find the constant head boundary here zero water level okay okay next <coughs> the no flow boundary and one way the tricky way to remember how we create this kind of boundary is as follow we don't have the uh, row tree so we just delete it and here we divide it by three because we have three enabled cells three in here copy and paste okay in this corner we don't have the AD, if you press here, we don't have the AD column, so we just delete it here, and we have two neighbor cells, so just divided by two, and here also divided by two. Next, this one, again, we don't have the AD column, so we erase that column here from our formula we have three neighbor cells so divided by three and here also divided by three copy paste and in this corner we don't have again oh we don't have the row 17 so let's delete that row from our equation divided by two again here divided by two okay and here we don't have again the row 17 okay divided by 3 and here also divided by 3 okay so that's the way we treat uh, the boundary the no flow boundaries in a block centered grid oh well <coughs> each uh, uh, find a different equation depends on the neighborhoods, but also, of course, depends on the pumping well, the location, and the pumping well of uh, uh, the pumping rate of our wells. Uh, the leakens of the semi-pervious layer are defined here. The leakens is the inverse of uh, the hydraulic resistance. You can have different values for the leakens. And here, the head on the semi-pervious layer, you can also have uh, different values. And just by, uh, let's see our 2D and 3D Excel graph. Okay, here. And if you press room model or just F9, I give uh, 2,000 iterations. So, okay, so that's our results the to the contours and the 3d our uh, potentiometric surface
Thank you very much.